I'm here with uh, Boris Epstein. I am here with uh, Boris Epstein at uh, the Summer Stage in Central Park, uh, June 4th, 2017, the 24th annual Israel Day concert in Central Park. Um, Mr. Epstein uh, recently left the White House um, to become the head or chief political analyst for Sinclair Broadcasting and Communications. Um, he was a special assistant to the president. And because of that, I'm going to ask you the very important question is, one, will President Trump move the embassy eventually? Obviously, he didn't do it yet. And number two, will he allow for building in Judea and Samaria like never before? Well, you know, and first of all, it's great to be here. Thank you for having me. Here's what I'll tell you. In my experience, President Trump is a great friend to the Israeli people, a great friend to the Jewish people in the state of Israel. He's already said that it is a matter of when, not if, in terms of moving the embassy. On the issue of building, the president is absolutely focused on getting to a larger piece of war. And everything is on the table in terms of discussions. So that's what his focus is, to make sure there's long-lasting peace for the people of Israel. Well, the problem with talking about peace, as you know, it's one of the most difficult tasks that any, that any diplomat or president or prime minister has ever had to deal with. And many are very concerned in Israel um, that when you try too hard to make peace, you actually cost people the opportunity to build in Judea and Samaria, and you cost the people of Israel time, which is very precious. And we believe that, thank you, we believe that if the president goes all out and doesn't attain the, the degree of whatever peace agreement he wants, it's going to take a lot of time, and it's, it's going to take away from the time that we could rebuild uh, our homeland, our eternal homeland, heartland of Israel, Judea and Samaria. Well, what you have to remember, right, is that the President is the President of the United States of America. He's working with the Prime Minister of Israel, and I was there for their meeting, for a you know, part of it, of course, uh, in the United States. There's a great relationship there, and there's going to be a give and take in those discussions, and it's obviously incumbent upon the the Prime Minister of Israel to represent the people of Israel to you know, his best possible extent, and that's what he's going to be doing on these issues and many others. But do you think eventually, I mean, he's already allowed for the new Amona to be built near Shiloh. He's given a green light on that, the President of the United States. But do you think that there will be other green lights in the process of trying to make peace, rather than Israel trying to make one concession after another, which they've tried so many times and it's never worked? Here's what I know, that the President of the United States his relationship to the state of Israel is absolutely different from what we've seen over the last eight years. So what we've seen over the last eight years has been a tense relationship. That's not expected to continue. He is, in his heart, close to the Jewish people. Obviously, he's got family. He has family that's Jewish. He's a big believer in Israel. Look at the speeches he made at the Israel Museum, the solemn speech he had with Shem, commemorating the six million Jews who died in the Holocaust. So he's a great friend of the Jewish people and of the state of Israel, and he will continue carrying out his policies as such. Well, we give him, uh, obviously, our blessings. We hope uh, he moves as quickly as possible. Um, but we want to rebuild Judea and Samaria, and I think it's important in an event like this to stress how important it is to push for more building, more construction. People want to have places to live. They're having trouble finding places to live. Judea and Samaria is one of those places that they have an easier time. It's cheaper. It's easier to live and um, we so have to be prepared that, for that. That will be up to the negotiators, right, of coming together and, and, and figuring out a solution. And I'm not, you know, right now I'm a private citizen, a chief political analyst. All I could do is I, I could tell you first-hand knowledge that this president is committed to doing what's best for the, for Israel and also for peace and finding that common ground. Thank you. Okay, thanks so much.